number one ranked Arizona undefeated on the conference road this season. Down the road at Tempe against Arizona State. Early first half, Channing Fry coming off career best 25 against USC. Jump hook, jump start, 17 first half points. End of the first half, Slim Stoudemire, thirsty order to float. Arizona up eight at the break for the largest Sun Devil home crowd, 23 years. Second half, Fry misses, chases, catches, Scores. Zona's front line of Fry, Rick Anderson, and Luke Walton, 26 of 40 from the field. Three double doubles. Walton, a season high, 23 with 10 boards. They didn't hardly need the Gardner. They're going to get him. Jason, first points of the night with your 16 to go in the half. 92 72. Arizona's won six straight, 16 of its last 17. The quest for 50 continues with. Number five, number 16, Oklahoma State hosting fourth-ranked Texas. T.J. Ford stripped by Victor Williams, and Williams will finish. He had 13 in the first half. Cowboys up seven. Still first half, it's Melvin Sanders open for Hora. 12-point Oklahoma State lead. Next possession, Sanders again for Hora. He had 19 in the game. Cowboys up 13. They shot 60% in the first half, including nine of 17 threes. Off the miss, Tony Allen, the Tomahawk follow. T.J. Ford said about Oak State, they were more aggressive than we were, and Allen demonstrating that right there. Second half, here come the Longhorns, though. Off the branded Mouton miss, James Thomas, the putback. Almo foul, he had 21 and 17. Texas gets within three. Under four minutes to go, T.J. Ford fade away. He had a career-high 32, and the Longhorns are down only one. 3.08 to go, Victor Williams for a four. Victor had 20, Cowboys up by four. Over two minutes left, Tony Allen. Great fakes here. The acrobatic off glass. He had 16. Oklahoma State wins 82-77. They snap a two-game losing streak. Conference USA, number three, Louisville at Cincinnati. Bob Huggins getting a boost from his bench. Final two minutes, first half. That's Bearcats reserve, Tony Bobbitt, and he is wide open for a throw. Cincinnati up nine. Seconds later, Bobbitt again. Deep three. Bobbitt quit the team earlier this season, upset over lack of playing time. Playing well here, under a minute to go, first half. Bobbitt again. He wants it. Feed me. Open for four. Bobbitt finished with 25. Always fired up. Second half, three on one. Teron Barker finds Leonard Stokes. Stokes had 31. And Rick Patino, second technical. Ricky gets tossed. He's upset about the Bearcats going to the free throw line for a school record 58 free throws. Cincinnati wins 101 80. So Louisville and Texas both fall on the road. The third and fourth ranked teams in the nation. A combined 13 and 7 in road games so far this year. By contrast, Kentucky and Arizona only with one loss each on the road. We're on the night shift, bringing you the Commodores of Vandy, hosting seventh-ranked Florida, and this is our seventh highlight as we go for 50. Matt Walsh over the shoulder, waved off, fouled before the shot. It's still worth another look, and Walsh is a fancy dancer. He did hit both free throws, and we sail on. Under two minutes to play, tied at 62. Mario Moore, that's what you call the home bounce. Then you saw the push underneath. Matt Bonner fouls out. Matt Freegie would make one of two free throws. It's a four-point game. Final seconds. Gators down two. Pete Roberson hit the lay-in. But don't start celebrating because here comes Corey Smith looking for sweet love. No, we're going to overtime. It's sweet nothing. Under 30 seconds to play in OT Walsh. The soft one-hander. The freshman with 19-4 in OT. Gators up one. Now up three. Last chance for Vandy. Matt Shivashevsky, seven foot one center, two of three from three. They needed him to be three of four. Florida sails on, 77 74. David West went for 47 the last time Xavier and Dayton met. Flyers 13 at home, 13 and 0 at home, and West made himself at home. This guy's six foot nine. He was five of 19 from the three. Coming into this game, he went three, three for three. Up six at the half. He finished with 27. Mark Jones, the miss. Brooke Hall, one of his seven boards, two of his six points. Dayton up one with 21 seconds left. Xavier, Lionel Chalmers, the rebound in the bucket off the Diedrich Finn miss. Xavier outboarded the home team by eight. And then Dayton's last chance, Ramad Marshall. Nah. Xavier wins at 73-72, and they take over first place in the West Division of the A-10.
payback Saturday at Cameron Indoor against Herb Sendex Wolfpack who would like to use that Princeton offense so Duke jam state with a man to man off the ball and cut off the passing lanes and Dante Jones steals and finishes Duke converted 24 turnovers into 31 points still first half more D Daniel Ewing the steal and Jones another flush caps a 12-0 Blue Devils run second half Chris Duhon finds Jones wide open 19 for Jones 18 for Ewing 12 for Duhon Dukey's roll they've won 27 straight at Cameron Indoor. NC State currently fourth in the ACC, which has sent at least four teams to the NCAA tournament in 21 of the last 23 seasons. But the Wolfpack only one in eight on the road, including losses at Temple and UMass, which may have them bound for the NIT. Maryland beat North Carolina by 33 last season, going for 40 this season as we go for 50 highlights. It's been 71 years since the Terps turned them four straight first half. Telestration. Drew Nicholas gets the pass inside. Two UNC defenders guard one man outside, and well, two more defenders swarm Nicholas, and that leaves Brian Randall wide open. Second half, Maryland cruising. Jamar Smith. Nothing wrong with his legs, despite Maryland playing its third game in six days. They're up 19. North Carolina left its game at the hotel. Shot just 32%, including 7 of 31 from the three. Will lose its seventh straight road game, 96 to 56. And how bad is it for North Carolina? Well, Maryland's 40-point win Saturday is its largest victory over UNC in the 79 years the teams have played. Maryland's most lopsided ACC victory since 1958. And North Carolina's worst loss since joining the ACC. 50 years ago. And the quest for a 50 highlight show continues. Number nine, Pittsburgh and Rutgers. Early first half, that's Herve Lamazana. This is highlight number 15, by the way. Let's his guy go. It's Donata Savatskis, the three Savatskis' 1,000th career point. Last time Rutgers would have the lead in the game. Julius Page, Rutgers scored only 14, 14 first half points and never recovered. Second half on the inbound, Jerron Brown for Torrey Morris. Pittsburgh in a blowout. Panthers have won 20 straight home games. Now tied with Notre Dame and Syracuse atop the Big East West. Number 10, Notre Dame can move into a first place tie with Syracuse in the Big East West with a win over Va Tech. Highlight number 16, Matt Carroll, 25 points. Dan Miller, he had 22. Chris Thomas, a career high, 13 assists, 98-76. Notre Dame wins this ball game in Connecticut. Visits on Big Monday. Calhoun back on the bench after prostate surgery. 24th ranked Huskies hosting the Johnnies. I was happy to be back and happy to see my kids and happy to be back in an atmosphere I'm very comfortable and uh, I thought the our fans just made me feel, uh, you know, very special to be honest with you. Also happy his team scored the first nine points. Second half, Mike Jarvis just picked up a technical and we arrow him because he's going to add a second. Said afterwards he was sorry his mom had to see him escorted out. On his way out, shake his hands with Calhoun and George Blaney. That's classy. Johnny's out class, though. Emeka Okafor. Big block, and that breaks Daniel Marshall's UConn record. Nine blocks in the game for Okafor. Buck 10 left. St. John's down six. Went eight for 20 from the three. Remember, went nine for 41 from distance in their last game. Marcus Hatton, we have a game. 35 seconds left. Red Storm down five. Anthony Glover missing the triple, and Okafor on the other end. 13 points, 12 boards, and the aforementioned nine blocks. Huskies win 77-69, 16 days after cancer surgery for Captain Calhoun. We're looking for 50. Creighton looking for 24. A win Saturday would match the school's highest win total in history. They want the Duke offense, and I guess they're looking for Chris Duhon to Dante Jones. Well, this is what they got. Damon Jackson to Hiram Fuller. Not so much. Fresno State, not, that Duke offense not working for the Bulldogs. Terry Pettis, no good. They went without a field goal for nearly nine minutes while the Blue Jays went on a 20-4 run. Kyle Korver for three. He had 27. Firing everybody up. Bulldogs down three. Damon Jackson for the tie. Creighton 16-0 at home this year. Korver now with 105 threes, a new school record. Ohio State 1 and 6 against ranked teams this season hosting 23rd ranked Purdue. It's our, our 21st highlight at Kiefer. The hoop and the foul. Purdue down only 3. Shot only 29% from the field. Legal flashback to the football field. They go for the ball game. Oh, the Buckeyes' undefeated season was in trouble against the Boilers. They're in trouble here. Ohio State up just one. Brent Darby taking the inbounds pass. And Matt Kiefer doesn't know which way to go. 
So Darby's going to go by him. And Willie Dean, Matador D, 9-2 run to end it. Darby leads all scores with 16. Buckeyes win 52-44. Afterwards, Coach Katie. Why would they be down themselves, Michael? I'll we send their ass to Afghanistan. They'll get fired up real quick, you know? They're the luckiest men in the world to have a scholarship at a Big Ten school. They should be up every second. You know, we got sh soldiers getting ready to go to war. Maybe it's ridiculous if they're down. What are they down about? That's an excuse. I don't want to hear excuses. I want to see production. And, uh, you know, they have no reason to be down. Start with Texas A&M and Texas Tech. Andre Emmett back after being suspended Monday. Will Shavis. Fouled with 10 seconds to go in a tie game. Misses the second free throw. So it's a one-point game. Bernard King for the win! Andre Emmett kisses to the crowd. Blazy at 26 in Texas Tech. Beats A&M 70-69. Wisconsin and Iowa in Iowa City. Michael Wilkinson for three. Then Wilkinson. Hit it from outside. Now he goes inside. He finished with 20. And the Badgers beat the Hawkeyes 61-53. Steve Alford letting it slip away. Wisconsin, a bubble team, an important win for them. Villanova and Providence in the Big East at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. Shake a Kaba for three. Friars down one, and then Shake a Kaba. Little Shake a Kaba right there, the fadeaway. He had a career high 25 in PC. Wins 70 to 60. Nova 14 and 10. They're dicey. Seton Hall, West Virginia, second half. Kevin Pitznagel open for three. This highlight number 25 if you're scoring at home. We're halfway to 50, Neil. Marcus Tony L for three. And Seton Hall, 68-64, they win. Both these teams right on the edge. Memphis, South Florida. Memphis is Chris Massey. Playing big down low. Highlight number 26. Hits the hook shot and then finishes there. He had 15. And Memphis, Coach Cal, gets a win over South Florida, 73-2, 66. So they have now won 18 games this year. Highlights in our quest for 50 with the Louisville loss. Marquette can open a one-and-a-half game CUSA American lead with a win over TCU. That's heady stuff. Just ask Dwayne Wade, who took one in the noggin right there. Second half, TCU up a deuce. Wade, 8 of 18 from the field. He misses, but we arrow him. He takes down Corey Santee. No call the other way. Chudy Chinwizzi with the finish. TCU up fourth, largest lead of the game. Marquette then went on a 17-3 run. Wade the dish, Steve Novak the finish. Wade finished with 22 points, 14 boards, five assists. Marquette, 79-68 at Louisville Thursday. Number 50 in Illinois, Northwestern, a Chicago land neutral site game at the United Center. Roger Powell had a career high 20. Illini with the early lead, second half. Mohammed Hashad behind the back. Jason Burke! Burke with the Wildcats with 15. Winston Blake now. Back door to Burke. Northwestern, here they come. They're only down six. But under four minutes to go, and Brian Cook, 13 of a 17 in the second half. Illini, their seventh straight win against Northwestern, the 200th win for head coach Bill Self. At Colorado, Buffs one home win away from tying the school record of 10 straight. Quinn Snyder, great hair. In the first, Michael Morandes, he had a great afternoon. 17 points, 10 assists, six boards, and a great dunk. The Buffs were up 10 at the half. In the second, Buffs by seven. David Harrison doing his Mecca Okafor invitation, blocking Arthur Johnson's shot there. Harrison with a school record 75 blocks this season. Under eight minutes to go and an upset in the making. Blair Wilson, he ate his Wheaties, six three-pointers, 26 points, CU 89-68. First time the Buffs have beaten three ranked teams in a year since 91-92. The quest for 50 marches on. This highlight, number 32. Georgia and hosting South Carolina, Jarvis Hayes, the finish. Check it out again. It was a cool play and a good call. At the buzzer, Jarvis Hayes, a little stepperino. Correct Amundo. Midway through the second, Chris Daniels back door to Hayes, who finishes one hand that he had 26. Georgia wins. Dogs 11 0 at home this year. They're third in the SEC East. Seconds. Let's check out a Pac 10 dribble. It's Cal at SoCal. Bears 20th ranked. Trojans have lost a season high three straight games, and Joe Ship led all scores with 29 in that. Well, that's top 10 material. In the second half, Cal trailing by three with under a minute to play. Connor. Famuliner, that's right, with the three, game tied at 81. USC with one point in the final, 151, and less than six seconds to play. Ship misses the free throw. USC rebounds, but Desmond Farmer. Oh, he wore 
of slippery shoes. California hangs on to win at 84-82, still chasing the Cats in the Pac-10. Number 21, Stanford at Pauley Pavilion. Mark Madsen watching his alma mater. Highlight number 34 in our quest for 50. Julius Barnes and the foul. More Barnes spin move here. Cardinal up five at halftime. They shot 60% for the game. Second half, Barnes more accurate shooting, and he's open for three. At 27, Stanford has won six straight at Pauley, the most by any UCLA opponent. Real stuff. Hawaii at Kent State. Mahalo Nui Loa for watching. Rainbow Warriors one and seven on the road. Antonio Gates, he finished with 30. Kent State up two. Under four minutes to go. Michael Kubler second. Nine of his 12 points in the final five minutes. He breaks a tie right there. And then Carl English. He's from Newfoundland. He had 22, 79, 78 Hawaii. It's first regular season win in the Eastern time zone since a 1972 victory over Connecticut. More Big Ten. Penn State and Minnesota first half rec record for Hawaii. Highlight number 39 on the way to 50. This might happen. Record another three. Minnesota up eight at halftime. Gophers 12 and one when Rickard scores at least 20. He had 26 in this one. Follows the Michael Bauer miss and Minnesota wins 77-62. The Gophers have won four straight and seven of their last eight. Johnson heat up if we're gonna get 50 highlights back to teams on the bubble. Alabama at Tennessee. C.J. Watson far out, man. Vols down two. Less than 10 seconds left. Watson driving, missing. Bama wins at 76-71. That's their first SEC road victory this season. Auburn at Ole Miss. It's highlight number 46. Under two minutes left. Rebs down three. Aaron Harper. Corner ball ties it at 75 ensuing possession. Marco Killingsworth jamming at home. He had 19. Tigers up a deuce. Last chance for Ole Miss, but it's M I S S. Justin Reed, no, and Auburn wins it 80 to 75. New Mexico at UNLV. Rebels bubbling. Oh, number 47. Ruben Douglas misses Jamal Williams. His friends, they called him Mr. Glass. Lobos missed the free throw. They're up one. Tied at 62. Charlie Spoonhours. J.K. Edwards drives, hits, gets fouled. He had 20. And the Rebels win at 74-69 to Paul at St. Louis. Highlight number 48. Marquis Perry hits the jumper, ties it at 60, and then under seven seconds left. Perry, he's a Chicago native. Oh, there's no place like home. The Billikens, four straight win, 62-61. Ball State at Western Kentucky. I rode the short bus, but I believe it's number 49. You are on Matt fire. Is gonna get sun belted, 84 to 79. Is gonna be your final. Jamal Brown cleaning up the mess. All five of those games, you just saw. Highlight number 50. Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Southern Illinois, the Saluki, Stetson, Harrison tips it in. Southern Illinois wins its 25th straight at home. They 50. did it, 50.